And like right when they said it, like right when they said, you have to give a little speech when you come up here, my first thought was, I want to thank not only God, but Jesus. What's up? My name is Serena and welcome to my channel. I should really just stop greeting you guys because it always ends up really, really awkward and that's... <sighs> I haven't filmed a video in a really long time and I'll get into that in a couple minutes. Like, we gonna get down to like talking about some stuff, but I really hope you guys don't hate me for today's video because it's gonna be kind of weird. I don't... This doesn't make any sense because like, you don't know what I'm talking about. If you can't tell by the title of this video... I'm standing in front of, I don't usually film here, I'm standing in front of my shrine to myself basically, like if you guys can't tell. I've had them hanging here since my sophomore year of high school. That was five years ago. I started the shrine to myself with my awards and such that I got from sports mostly softball. I've wanted to take this down for a year now at least, but now I'm like, I just accept that it was a really great time and good memories in my life, but I don't really miss it all that much anymore. I don't know, maybe that's just like me growing up, I don't know, but I keep putting it off and putting it off and putting it off because I knew that it was going to make me sad. And at this point, I have a lot of stuff that I want to hang on this wall. I have like pictures and different stuff and I'm like, this is like serving no purpose anymore. So I thought that it would be fun. Since I haven't filmed a video in so long, I kind of wanted to do more of like a chit chat type video, but I thought it would be fun to take down the shrine to myself while we kind of just talk about random stuff. And I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I hope you guys don't hate this video. If you're wondering why I also have my jersey on, it's because I'm planning on putting my jersey in the box that I put all of these awards in. So that's why I have it on. I was like, I can wear it one last time before it goes in a box and I probably honestly never see it again <laughs> because I'm too lazy to like open the box. This was my last award that I will ever get for being in so for playing softball because it was my last year of college that I got it. I'm not going to cry because I'm filming and I don't like to cry on camera. Let's talk about like something non-software related. I can't even get it off. So I just went to the movies and I saw Mamma Mia 2. And <laughs> Mamma Mia, if you guys don't know, is my all-time number one favorite movie. I know every song. I am like a super Mamma Mia fan. I'm like their biggest fan. I th there was a point <laughs> in my life in high school where... I watched Mamma Mia every single day for like three months straight. It was ridiculous. But it it's such a happy movie and it's, it puts you in the best mood. I heard that they were making a Mamma Mia too. I was so excited. I went and watched it the day it came out. It was actually technically the night before it came out because our movie theater is one of the ones that can do like the early showings or whatever. I want to make a whole video on Mamma Mia 2 because I'm really, really, really just so happy about it. It was such a good movie. I just want to like share all my thoughts and stuff, but I didn't film right after I watched it because I like had other stuff that I had to do. So I'm, uh, I have plans to go see it again with other people. So I might film the Mamma Mia video like right after I go watch that one because I'll be like, <laughs> I've been holding this the whole time. We're just talking about Mamma Mia. It's whatever. But yeah, I'm probably going to do a, a Mamma Mia 2 video. Like, I'm, uh, uh, da, da, da. this is my Four year letter award. Whoa, look at that, look at that. This one, there was a picture in here that was like really ugly, so I <laughs> took it out and put in this picture because I like this picture. You can see my umbrella light. <laughs> oh, I should have said this at the beginning of the video. Maybe I'll put this clip at the beginning of the video. I don't want to like come across as bragging in this video because we are going to be talking about like the awards that are on my wall. I also don't want you to think I'm making fun of the fact that I got these awards, like I'm not grateful for them, or I wasn't grateful for them. I just don't want you to like get a bad vibe from this video because I honestly don't like that. I don't like when like, I don't like when people brag, and I don't like when people don't 
aren't grateful for something that was given to them that was like an honor so don't think that that is me because it's not I just uh -uh. This one, I just want to point out, is the only award that I got from cross country. I didn't deserve any awards in cross country because I was god awful. <laughs> so, I don't know if you guys can tell, but I'm filming actually on a new camera and I'm like really excited. I bought this camera a while ago, but I haven't filmed any new videos on it because I've been really busy, but I think this video might be the first video that goes live on my channel using my new camera, so I'm actually like really excited about that. Um, if the lighting and stuff isn't good, it's because I'm still like trying to figure out all the gadgets and gizmos. I've got gadgets and gizmos of plenty. No, but I'm trying to like figure out the camera settings that are best for like the type of lighting that I have, so if I end up like orange or I end up blurry or and I'm focused. I'm really sorry. I'm like trying. I should I feel like I should talk more about softball because we're taking down my softball awards. What was your favorite memory from softball? That's a good question. You know, there's not like a single moment from softball seasons that stand out to me really. For me, I remember like the feeling. I remember how. Why am I crying? I'm like I'm about to cry. I remember just being exponentially. Is that the word I'm using? That was so dramatic. I just remember being so much happier when it was softball season. Like from February ish to the end of the school year when it was softball season. Every single day I was happier. My mental health was better. I don't know, I was just like so much happier when it was softball season. So for me, my favorite moment or my favorite memory or my favorite thing about softball is that feeling I got when it was softball season. It was like, I don't know, like, <laughs> I don't wanna cry. I just remember like, high school was a scary place a lot of the time. Especially for someone like me. I just had like so many phases where everything was so dark and it seemed like it was going to last forever, which is just so how high school teenagers are. But I just remember a softball season rolling around and it was just the best. I had my two best best friends from when I was in high school were on my team we're on the softball team I remember most our home field because it was my favorite place in the world but you step out on the field it's zero to zero the first inning and it's a new game and I just ah, I remember that feeling not after all these years is what I missed most it's just that feeling of like stepping between the white lines and getting ready to play a new game like because you just once you're done playing softball you just don't get that feeling anymore. Like I still pitch and I still hit and I still do softball things. I throw and I have two little sisters who still play softball so I'm around it and I still do it but it's just not the same when it's not competitively. And it's not the same also when it's not for a team that you really care about and you're really behind. <laughs> this one was my player of the year from 2014 and <laughs> look, Look at the plaque. It says, what does it say? It says player of the year. Should have done my nails. You guys can see my bad spray tanned hands. Uh. But actually, um, this year I was co-player of the year. So there was another girl that was also player of the year. The other girl who got that award too was a really, really awesome softball player. So like, I'm not even mad, but I was just like, it doesn't say co-player. It says player of the year. So like, I could finesse and be like, oh yeah, this is my player of the year award. I have the Mamma Mia songs stuck in my head. <sighs> Guys, this is actually like horribly sad. This is so sad. You guys can probably see this, right? <laughs> I am so extra. Oh my God, I can't even get it off the wall. Oh my God, it's really not coming off the wall. So, and this also isn't bragging, I just want to tell you guys how extra I am. When I was a junior in high school, the newspaper wrote an article about me because I was like a pitcher or whatever. 
and I framed that article. I framed it and I hung it on my wall. How extra, like why did nobody stop me from doing that? Like who hangs their newspaper article about them on their wall? And it's been hanging there since 2014. So that's four years that's been hanging on the wall. Would you like to hear my favorite quote from this article? He has had other pitchers throw perfect games. Oh, this is about my coach, by the way, my high school coach. He has had other pitchers throw perfect games in his 19 seasons, but has he had one like Woodyard? Question mark. Not with this much consistent dominance, he said. It's just been incredible. I'm lucky as a head coach. But what they didn't put in this article is that I paid him to say that, and that's what he said. I'm just kidding, no shade, but like that line alone was why I hung it on the walk. Can't get it. They're in the shape of Ohio, isn't it cool? It was just so humbling to receive an award like this. Like, I don't, I don't want to cry, but I was so insecure when I was growing up. I don't know why. I was never going to be good at what I did. Like, I grew up thinking that I could try as hard as I, as hard as I could and I would never be good at what I do because because I had this mindset that held me back that I wasn't good enough and I always felt like I was never gonna be good enough but to go from that to this it just reminds me every day that you can do you can do you can do what you set your mind to I just couldn't believe that it had gone from one extreme to the next. That's the whole reason I wanted to make this video so I could talk about how you should just believe in yourself because it's you. It really, truly is you. It was me who held myself back. It's you who holds yourself back. It's not other people. It's not how good you are. It's, it's your own mind. And that's just what I have to say about that. Oh, I was gonna tell you. Okay, so I've been kind of struggling the past, uh, my entire life of finding something that, finding a good technique for doing my eyebrows. I want to do my eyebrows where they're thick, they're full looking, but then they have like little hairs in the front so they look natural. And I haven't been able to find anything, anything that will make those little hairs look natural. But I found this new pin, and I've been trying it out. I'm like kind of not good at it because like I just got it. But like look, this eyebrow looks so much more like, look at the front, it looks like hair. This one I, I effed it up, so this one doesn't actually look good. But this one, I was like, girl, I should not stand this close to the camera. But I was like, that looks like real hairs. And like obviously like I still have work to be done because I'm like still stuck at doing eyebrows. But I was like so excited to finally get this technique and like figure it out and oh my God, it's everything. My brother got a puppy not too long ago and he is so flippin' cute. I wanted to make a video with him. I don't know, I just wanna like come up with some video ideas to do with my brother's puppy. Like I don't know what we should do, like maybe like the whisper challenge or like, he could do my makeup. I don't know. Let me know if you want me to do a collab with my brother's puppy. I will do that. So, that was all the awards that I have on the shrine to myself. And on my wall, it's completely empty. It feels like closure. Like, it really feels like the end of an era. It's just so incredibly weird slash... I don't know it's just it puts everything into perspective and I think getting older it kind of puts everything into perspective anyway after three years it's just a piece of wood on the wall <laughs> you know what I mean it represents so much more like it represents the hours that I spent in the off season in the gym to get better it it represents the hard work that my teammates and I put in every single day to get where we got and to accomplish what we accomplished and it represents all the sacrifice from my parents my family my coaches everything it just it represents so much more but at the end of the day it only means that to you 
you show this plaque to other people and they don't see it. They see what it's what's written on it. I don't want to say they mean nothing, but the 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 actual physical symbol of them mean nothing now. They they're put in a box to go into storage and maybe I'll take them out to show them to my kids or something, but probably not cuz I'm really lazy and I don't want to get it out of storage. This one thing <laughs> When you were 17, meant everything to you. You had to do anything and everything to get that award, to get player of the year, to get all state. And now they're in a plastic box in my closet, which is probably where they will be for the rest of their my <laughs> life. And I just think that's I just think that's so weird. Like it makes me want to cry. Like I said, this video wasn't to be bragging or to be making light or making fun of something that was very meaningful in my life at one point. I just thought it'd be cool to document this and also I thought it'd be more fun to be doing this and kind of talking about that while I just chit chat with you guys and catch you up to date on what's been going on because like I haven't filmed a video in 10,000 years. <laughs> Let me know if you want me to do more softball related videos because I kind of want to do them like because I miss softball and like now that I don't play softball every single day like I still want to talk about softball every single day so like let me know. I think that's all I had to say. I will see you guys soon with a new video. Bye!